My name is Cecilia, I'm from Mexico City, and I think I wouldn't go into an arranged marriage. I don't think that's the ideal way to go to get married, even if they're gonna pay you. I wouldn't do it. How old are you? I'm 25. And tell me, why is it that you think $2 million in a dream house is not a good idea to start off a life with someone? Well, because even if you do get to know this person for a little while, whatever forever may be, I think that uh, you don't actually get married for money or, or a dream house. You build that thing. Okay. And what if you took counseling classes to learn how to manage two million dollars and marital cl classes to learn how to get to know someone and work out life's major issues? Well, wouldn't it be better if you actually met somebody that you actually like and marry him and then make millions of dollars by, I don't know, getting a jackpot? Okay. Do you think you can meet someone in a grocery store and get married to him or at school and get married to him or in a church and get married to him? Yeah. So, Basically, I think that's how it works. So is it the location of a reality TV show that's concerning you? No, I think it's the price what concerns me. I mean, you're doing it for a price, not for love. Okay. So if the name of the reality show was an arranged marriage and there was no prize and it was just if you sign yeah, up like you can meet someone love, probably would be different. Okay. Do you think that people will fall in love even if they get two million dollars? No. So I think that when money because, is involved there's no to love. Okay. And how do people pay their bills? Working. Okay, so how long do you think it will take you to make two million dollars? I don't think I could make two million dollars. You absolutely can make two million dollars. Well, yeah, but saving a lot and working a lot, but not as a trigger to get involved with somebody. Cecilia, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And much Does success your perspective in everything you make you. respect you? Does he respect you? Does he respect, or he or she respect you or your opinions? Do you have a, a lady friend who wants to make all the decisions and she doesn't respect your opinions and, and uh, she's very controlling and very needy and she doesn't listen to what you say and she overrides what she says and she already got you looking like a little whoop man and because if that's the case while you're dating, Imagine what it's going to be like once you get married. Are you dating a man who won't even open the door for you? He'll open the door for somebody else, but he won't open the door for you. Are you dating a man that doesn't respect you? Are you dating a man that calls you out of your name when he gets upset with you? Are you dating a man that won't pay attention to your opinions? He doesn't respect you? Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't respect one another before you say, I do, believe me, after you say, I do, there will be no respect.